Hi friends, welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Now we are going to start a new video that is creating a mail enabled dynamic distribution group in Exchange Server 2019. If you are like this video, please subscribe my channel and share my videos a lot. Let's start the lab. So, subset of a distributions group called a dynamic distribution group or DAC. You can say it is a query based distribution group. A DAC members list is a dynamic based on the criteria which is set by the administrator. DAC are managed only by using the exchange administration center or a exchange management cell. So now I show you how to configure a dynamic distribution group and how it work. So at first I go to the domain controller, create a new organization unit named marketing and create user m1 and m2 done and I set the state or province West Bengal So now I go to the exchange pen, I create those mailbox which I create in Active Directory M1 Organization Unit is Marketing, sorry uh, username is Mark M1 If you choose the organization unit, no need, save mailbox into existing user and to OK, save M1 into is created. Now I go to the groups add dynamic distribution group group name is marketing alias is marketing notes dynamic distribution group and organization I select marketing owner is 
I always set the administrator is the owner. So here is some recipient types who can add these members. Select all recipients. All recipients are works in the dynamic distribution group. Or if you set the following criteria also users to the exchange mailbox who all are added into the dynamic distributions group mail users to the external email address who have external email address that will add the group so there are some criteria okay i select all recipients and add a rule what rule i set state or province if state or province equals to West Bengal if state or province is West Bengal save then all users are automatically add this distribution screw marketing distributions group is created now I go to mailbox ex1 I just open incognito window https colon double slash x1 dot smart lab dot com slash o w a provide password set this ok uh, my mailbox in my uh, mailbox is created for m1 I just logged it out Smart lab slash M one provide the password. Sorry, M one is already logged in. M two.
save. Yeah, logged in. So I just go to the new my mail address is marketing. See, marketing is showing. Here is only showing uh, only one member that is an administrator and other are not updated yet. Okay, it will, it will take some time to update. I just go to this here. Recipient owner and the state province was been called. This is a case sensitive, you know. Uh, if I if I mistake in any configuration over uh, DC, uh, if I mistake any spelling over there, so it will not work. So I will just check my state province once. West Bengal is written over here and the same thing I hope this is written over here also state of province and as well as I just rewrite copy paste the entire thing done save I just refresh once now I go to here update updated I just send the message test DA to check that the M1 is also received this mail or not I just sign out M1 yes this receive owner is yes the members are not showing here so m1 and m2 are already added okay someone add some suppose uh, I, I uh, my friend is joining my company uh, in smartlab.com so the company will create a user for that that is m3 m3 okay So, and the mailbox is created from here. Okay, one more thing. Here we cannot find the members because it is take time to update. But immediately we, we can see uh, who is the member of this uh, group. Uh, there was uh, some command. I have to execute some command. At first, dollar x is dollar uh, x and get distributions group marketing. 
it will take a value stored under x I just go to the exchange server open exchange shell paste the command the dynamic distribution group marketing uh, information is stored under the dollar x then get recipient preview filter with this group so get recipient recipient preview filter then x dollar recipient filter see so now I do one thing I go to the domain controller and create I have already the n3 I just provide the state West Bengal done it will automatically add the distribution group so how can we see that not yet updated oh a mailbox is not created over here right m1 m2 i have to create the mailbox at first that is m3 browse ok save just refresh once go to the exchange server see m3 is added so if my organization have a large uh, organizations there are lots of users are there so each uh, I c it is not possible to add uh, uh, specific user to add this group specific user to add this group we can filter that user with their state province or a country or a job description whatever you want you just filter that field and put it into the distribution group. so I hope it will be clear to you thank you thank you for watching see you on next video